Good morning my loves or good afternoon, good evening and good night. So today we are doing They Are With Someone Else, what's going on and what's going to happen. So we're in the, the now energy but also looking into the future energy. Now before I get going on this, if anyone decides that they want to be judgmental assholes, what I will be doing is deleting you and your comments from the channel because this is a place of love and open space and our mystic tribe. So if you're not with us, we are quite happy to remove you so just to let you know that uh whenever you write comments here please come from a place of love rather than judgment and on that note let's get going for my little third tribe followers so number one number two pick the deck that you are most drawn to and as you're drawn to that deck i want you to think about your person and who they are with if you know what they look like or you know their name i just want you to feel that energy feel that thought process okay and we are just going to get cracking on it so Deck number one. They are with someone else. What's going on and what's going to happen? So no third party situations are never easy. When we're talking about third party as well, sometimes I don't necessarily mean a person. It can be a situation like alcohol, drugs, um, other people influencing it like mother-in-laws and things like that. But today, focusing primarily, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Me. focusing primarily on um, them being with someone else what's happening what's the current energy so I'm getting this song as I'm going into your thoughts and their thoughts of say you won't let go um, and I want to say that that was by a terrible British singer called James Arthur okay um, but we have this very strong love connection going on with you both so let me just grab three for the future between you guys and obviously if you want to look at their individual readings and have a look at your situation individually you can just give me a shout it's the future of you guys two let's get one more three Okay, so where you are at this moment, you are between a rock and a hard place. So the cards that you've got for right now, those you like tarot, are the Queen of Cups, the Five of Cups and Temperance. And in the future energy, you've got the Eight of Wands, the Empress and the Four of Cups. Okay, so let's start off with the here and now. Your person has got very strong feelings for you. You have very strong feelings for them. Your psychic intuition is on fire. So if you've kind of, your mind's been taking you one direction and your psychic intuition has been taking you another, I do feel it's very important that you listen to your own intuition. You are being guided by your loved ones, helpers and spirits that have passed over um, and you aren't being left out in the cold, despite perhaps you feeling that you are very, very alone in this situation. Like I said, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place and I feel that the person that you are asking about is too. They're stuck. They have these very strong emotions for you um, and they aren't feeling very happy with this situation at this point either. Okay, with the five of cups. With the moon on this being waning, it means that they are getting ready for these kind of fresh starts and can see that there is a future with you guys. But they have got to work it out for themselves and they have to let the light be illuminated, okay? At the moment, they don't know how to move forward from the situation. So despite loving you, they are feeling very, very trapped by their own thoughts and feelings over it all. Their emotions for you are up in turmoil, okay? So they have these very strong feelings for you, but they are kind of unsure on how to move the situation forward. So with temperance coming up at the end of these cards, it's like they're playing for time at the moment. So you might be getting one-off messages, you might be hearing um, not much, they might give you a little bit, oh, we'll wait and see what happens, oh, this could work out this way, but you're not really getting much substance of anything in the here and now. So just be aware, please, that there is emotions here and they do have very strong feelings for you. It's just they are in turmoil. And I just got the song um, and this might make you cry, but, you know, I'm a big Swifty. <laughs> just got the song Illicit Affairs by Taylor, um, where she says, don't call me kid. Don't call me baby. Look at this godforsaken mess that you've made me. And this is kind of how you guys are feeling at this point in time, that your person isn't really 
given you much substance of this and you might feel like you know what am I doing what am I hanging around for what am I waiting for and there's that sense of, of grief and loss that comes with that and your person is is just kind of echoing that energy a little bit because they do have those feelings for you but they are playing for time and they're not making any substantial moves towards you okay now when we go into the future energy what's quite interesting is we do get these movement from them so with the eight of wands and the empress we have got movement coming towards you um you being the empress but sometimes the empress could also indicate the mother of their children so we've got this sticky situation that they will make these moves towards you and there is giving birth to new dreams but the person that they are currently with um, I say mother of children, d depending on your individual circumstances, it could be he, she's, etc, etc. Um, you've got this movement, this is my toddler, you've got this movement of them coming towards you and giving birth to dreams, but it's still this sticky, sticky energy. Um, it's really important to pay attention to their actions and not their words on this. So do make sure that you're listening to what they, they, they do rather than what they say. OK, so movement coming towards you, the person that they're with, even if the situation closes between them, will still be a part of their life. OK, and the overall card at the end of that is the four of cups, which is these feelings of feeling fed up. So your person at the moment is playing for time. It looks like they're going to tell you everything that you want to hear, that they're going to say, yeah, we can build a future. We can be together. They might even make that action towards you, which is wonderful. OK, so they might even say, right, you know what? I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm ready to move on. Let's make this work. Let's go for it. Let's make a clean cut and fresh start. But we've got this feeling of feeling fed up over it. OK, so they might feel like they've been pushed into a corner. They might feel that, you know, maybe they're not quite making the right decisions. They also, their missus with the Empress kind of coming here, the person that they're with might find out about you as well, which is where this movement comes in and where that feeling of feeling fed up so it's stagnant it's stagnant with movement kind of coming in the future let's see if the two of you will be together will the two of them be together in the future and again this is your collective energy so if you want to have a look at it individually you can just give me a shout so we've got the star coming in for the two of you. So there is hope that you guys will move it forward. And it's kind of like E.T. with the, the E.T. found home. You've got that energy between you guys that you are very interconnected. And when there's a will, there's a way. So there is potential for this to work. Like I said, they will make that movement towards you. But it's a case of kind of waiting to see how it all plays out, biding your time and taking it from there. Do focus on love, though, because there is a very strong love that they have for you. They are just very, very trapped in their situation. Like I said, if you want to have a look at their individual circumstances and what's happening with the people that they're with and where all that's going, just let me know. Just find me on Instagram or email me. Um, or you can find my website. There's a contact form on the website. I don't know 100% how often it actually works, but it's just mysticlovetarot.com or you can email me, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Sticky. Deck number one is sticky, but I'm here for you, okay? Just message me if you need me. Right, <laughs> before I lose my voice, let's scoot over to deck number two. So, hi, guys. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, it's a more difficult reading today for some of you guys as we are focusing on the third-party situations. <coughs> and I'm losing my voice. Anyone that they are currently involved with, but looking at your where you are with them, where the future is going with you too um so it's a collective reading and if you need me for individual readings just give me a shout and i'm going to have a sip of water <coughs> i've recorded a couple of readings on uh, in a row today because i'm going on maternity leave um come august so i thought i'm going to try to get on top of this in the next few weeks if it means i'm losing my voice okay where are they now two oh interesting okay and what's the future Ooh. okay interesting read guys so for those of you that like tarot your cards for the now are the king of swords the nine of cups and three of cups your cards for the future are the tower the six of cups and the devil 
So this is a very interesting situation in the future and I actually feel like we should probably go to the future first and then come back to the here and now because I just want to rip off the band-aid. The tower, shit is going to hit the fan in the future um, and it is going to hit the fan most likely with the other person involved in this situation as well. So truth will out, things are going to come to the surface, knowledge is going to be sought things are going to fall down around you guys and it's all it's going to be a very difficult time so just be prepared this situation can't carry on going the way it's going because the two of you and looking at the here and now we've got these celebrations we've got this joy we've got this escapism behavior everything's kind of wonderful but that your person that you're asking about is still very much working on logic and when they're working on logic, you lot watching are getting nowhere. So Spirit is saying, well, you know what? If it's going to stay stagnant, let's create an eruption and let those towers hit. So something is going to happen, which is going to make this situation hit the fan. Shit is going to hit the fan. Now, with the Six of Cups coming up over it, um, it's going to be kind of memories from the past coming up. So this suggests to me that the person that they are with, um, the memories, the past connection, that third party energy, this is where the tower is going to hit. OK, so that the person with, that they're with is going to have experienced this very difficult situation with them. Truth or out, they'll probably find out about you if they haven't already or get a knowledge or a woman's intuition on it all that they know something's going on there um, and that it's all going to kind of be outed. If it isn't that, there's just going to be a collapse in their relationship. OK, so there's someone from the past, potentially someone that they've got kids with, tower hitting them. Now with the devil card, looking at the future of you guys, the devil card is always kind of the darker side of the lovers. So when the shit hits the fan, it does look like they will still be talking to you, communicating with you, um, but they will be in this heavier place because they are going to be going for a really, really rough time. When that heavier place starts, they are still going to be wanting to speak to you. They are still going to want to be meeting with you. They are still going to want to be hooking up with you. They are still going to be wanting to share that passionate energy with you guys. And that will also help them with the escapism behaviour. Now, obviously, when the shit hits the fan over here, it kind of leaves the door open for you guys. If negatives ever can turn into positives in that way, it leaves the door open for you guys. But with the devil card, I would just err, say to you, err on the side of caution um, because your person will be going through a very very difficult time err on the side of caution on what you want from the connection and don't give your cards away too soon remember the winner takes it all i just got abba okay because the battle lines are going to be drawn oh this is very this is very intense <laughs> battle lines are going to be drawn between you and the third party the other person the, the person that they're with battle lines are going to be drawn and it's going to be the winner takes it all, okay? So where the devil card comes in, you will have to play your cards correctly, specifically, and to the point. But the desire and the passion is there. Now, your person secretly, actually, if we're looking at the current energy, your person secretly wants this to happen with the Nine of Cups. The other side of this card is that potentially, and just be wary here, if you don't want to make any babies, this is potential for you guys to make babies. And this could also create this tower fact, OK? So just be wary of that, of what it is that you want with your future with them. And if you are looking at um, not wanting kids and birth control or stuff like that, you need to be looking at um, because you're, you're quite fertile at this point in time. So news coming in. Your person also, I feel, is actually going to express their emotions. Even though they're acting on logic, they are going to start telling you that you've really got to them, that they can't, don't know how long they can cope with this situation. And like I said, they're secretly hoping that this shit is going to happen. So when it does happen, it's not going to be a massive surprise to you. We've got the Three of Cups coming in as well for the current energy. This will be them expressing their emotions. This will be saying, I want to be with you. This will be saying, I'm really kind of don't want my relationship that I'm in to work anymore. I've seen the light. I want to be with you. Let's make this work. Logical side of things, they might say, well, I don't really know how at this point in time, but I just know what I want. But when that happens and they've made that choice, that's when the tower hits and everything collapses around them. So there is nowhere for them to hide anymore. They have to make a choice on it and that choice will lead them back to you. Um, but their relationship has to collapse first. And once that collapsing happens with the person that they are involved with, um, that's when the winner takes it on. They just got love is a battlefield as well. Love is a battlefield. 
So very interesting. And if you want to know more, just give me a shout. You can find me on Instagram, Mystic Love Tarot, little blue tick. You can find me on Facebook, Mystic Love Tarot, same picture as it is on YouTube and Insta. Um, you can message me, Mystic Love Tarot at gmail.com. I'll put all the deets in the description for you in the comments so you can just find me. I'm doing same day return on voice note reading. So if you want your answers today, uh, just let me know. All right, guys, keep me posted. I love you all. Ciao.